Welcome to HortTube. My name is Jim Putnam. In this video, I'm going to be trench edging around my turf uh, in the uh, backyard space and uh, in the uh, front garden as well and along my driveway because I am about to mulch. And what I do is make a trench edge along spaces where I want the mulch just to fall neatly up against whatever it is and uh, just, have it, just have a nice smooth place for it to fall into. I don't use any hard edging. Uh, it's never kind of been my style. I understand some people like metal edging or brick edging or concrete edging or you know whatever it is you like. Um, uh, doesn't matter to me. I just always like the look of a trench edge, which is just putting a trench right along the edge of the turf and again where that mulch can just fall right up against it without coming onto uh, my turf. Uh, there are a lot of different ways to mark out uh, you know, the, the, the perfect little curves and angles uh, in your turf. You can take a water hose and just lay out the angles. Uh, you can uh, do what I did last year, which was put up a drone uh, and then drew uh, lines on the ground with upside down uh, spray paint. Or you can just use the spray paint on the ground and just try to, you know, really smoothly, uh, just try to make, you know, long flowing curves uh, around the edge, unless you're a person who likes uh, angles. Uh, if you're a person who likes angles, do angles uh, all day long. But I like long, smooth curves uh, when I can get them. The way I go about achieving uh, long, smooth curves is I will typically, uh, if we come into this area uh, right about here, and a as an example, I'll just take my, this is a trenching shovel. It's only about four inches wide. It's probably the easiest tool to use for this. I'll come and cut straight down along the edge uh, and pull up on it. Generally, I take my foot and I actually kick this soil up into the bed. Uh, I'm not going to be super aggressive here because of my annuals uh, in this spot, but come take a look at how, how this looks. I'm taking that shovel straight down along the turf and then angled up into the bed, if you see how that, that ends up looking. Okay, then uh, I don't just keep going down the line. I actually pick a pick a spot further out uh, in how you know in my curve, you know, ever how I want my curve to be laid out. Whether I've painted it, whether I have the water hose down, however I've marked it, I take a spot that's maybe six or eight feet away, and I do the same exact thing. I go down, straight down, and I take that soil and just kick it up into the uh, up into the bed space without destroying my plants as much as possible. Sometimes you may have to cart it out of here. I have a wheelbarrow here. To cart it out but I have those two marks and I basically can take my shovel and kind of simulate the curve and come to the middle of that okay and come down again and cut exact same way and I don't want to get any of those grassy weeds up in that bed either so I'll make sure I take care of those but now I basically have three three spots uh, the middle one uh, there may be three feet apart something like that and I'll actually come into the middle of those two as well and then do the same exact operation, okay? And so in between the middle of that one and that one, I come right here, take my shovel straight down, and I throw it up into the bed. That just gives me that spot where that mulch is going to fall right up against it, okay? From there, I just connect these spots together. So very quickly, I'll, I'll just cut, cut, cut along this and I'll, I'll either put that soil into the, wheel, into the wheelbarrow or I will kick it up into the bed if there's a reasonable way to do it. Um, most of the time people aren't going to have things that are as crowded as mine are, so uh, it might be easier for you to, to do this. So just that quick, I've done half of what I set out to do here. And I just continue to connect, connect these little dots basically. That's what this is, is connect the dots. And there you go. Um, you'll, you'll come back in and find a spot where it's not quite as smooth as you want it and, uh, and just trim it off. I've got a little spot right here where I feel like it's sticking out just a bit. And I'll go through and real smooth, real smoothly cut that off. Then from there, uh, if we uh, back up here, I'll do the same exact thing. I'll come another, you know, five or six feet here 
and uh, cut in. Kind of figure out where, how I want this curve to look. Go to the middle of that, just like that. And then I can either do it again, put another spot in the middle and in the middle again, and then connect the dots uh, and do that over and over and over again until I've gone all the way around the turf. And again, after I've, after I've gone through it, I may see a jagged, you know, a little jagged edge somewhere that I uh, want to go and correct. Uh, there's always the possibility of taking off a little too much as well. That's life. I have zoysia grass and it will spread. So if I need to fill in a little spot, I can fill in a little spot. But that's pretty much the gist of how I go around, of how I go around the turf. And what this is going to do for me is Monday, when I start mulching, I'll, I'll lay the mulch out here in the wheelbarrow and I'll just use my rake and let it fall, fall into that trench right up against the turf. Other than edging around turf uh, so that your mulch isn't coming on top of your uh, turf all the time, uh, the hardscape uh, areas, places where like this brick driveway meets a bed, uh, areas like the curb uh, in front of the uh, street out here, I want, again, I want the mulch to just be able to fall against a little bit of a, little bit of a trench on the edge. Uh, this driveway is really strange and it's got uh, bricks on an edge in some spots and in some spots where brick is half bricks in some places so this isn't really i'm eventually going to relay this uh relay this driveway and make it a little bit um a, a, a nicer edge on it um so nothing about this is very consistent the other thing that's happening here is this bed is actually up about two and a half feet above my feet it's hard to see this in the video but this thing this takes a big uh it comes up really quickly off the edge of the driveway so this mulch is constantly falling out into the uh falling out into the driveway that's fine this is eventually going to be a retaining wall no big deal um in the long term but in the short term it is irritating to constantly have it pouring out here so it's the same operation i'm just going to go along the edge of this brick and i can put the shovel on a on a lean like this and just pull back and uh kind of create this little bit of a trench uh, just like that and then i'll take the soil that's out on the brick and just throw it back into the bed but that's how i get started making this little bit of a trench and you know i'll just cut all this cut all this down but again at the end of the day all i'm trying to accomplish is you know having that mulch be, have a place to land that's not directly on top of the uh on top of the driveway so I, I've done this before, so that's why this is going so easily. <laughs> this would be really, really difficult if uh, if I hadn't done it before. The soil would be compacted and that kind of thing. But all that's here now is just mulch that fell in here from the last time I did this. So it's easy to clean it out. But that's the process. I'll take the, uh, you know, I'll take a broom and just broom off the rest of this material and just put it you know just put it right back into the bed uh, just like that there's the shovel just turned on a on a slant and i can just drag it along these hard surfaces kick this soil up in the uh in the bed a little bit it's about to be covered anyway with the mulch and again i've broken this up before so it's easier than it would be if it was the first time but once it's been done once uh, pretty straightforward just dragging it just like that makes a god awful sound but uh, and then i can clean the uh clean the curb up at the same time but again, this is just a matter of 
dragging that trench in and then cleaning up afterwards just like that as you saw from the uh, drone footage i got the uh, back uh, turf finished i also did the uh, front turf and then uh, showed you along the driveway i just don't have that many things to edge a lot of you may have sidewalks and you know long driveways and uh you know hardscape things like patios and you know other other things that you have to edge around i kind of had designed this where the mulch just goes right out to the edges of the property and so the only things that i'm left with that i have to define are two small pieces of turf and a, a driveway uh, that's a uh, brick uh, out there and that's pretty much it so pretty quick and easy job a lot of times the first time you edge something like this uh, it's going to be much more difficult uh, having tilled this and sodded it last summer having edged it and mulched it out here uh, once already uh, this is a quick and easy job but you'll find that the very first time uh, you're cutting an edge someplace it may be really hard work um, I, I don't i don't want to uh to, to pass this along as easy uh, once it's been done a few times then really you're just getting the loose mulch and the old mulch and things that have washed into the trench out uh you know in in the future and it's much much easier so uh, thank you guys for uh, following along. Uh, this uh, project has been going on here for a little over a year. It's come a long way. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit that little bell notification so you're alerted when I upload videos. And I will be mulching this space in the next few days and then showing you a full tour. Thanks for watching.